NK cells were identified as an activity by several labs uh, kind of mid-70s. So when people were trying to study whether the immune system could recognize and attack cancer cells, several groups noticed that if they bled me or bled you or took a mouse that you know, didn't have cancer and took the lymphocytes from those individuals and put them with cancer cells in a dish, some, some cells in that dish were killing the cancer cells. I think it was uh, Rolf Kiesling and Eva Klein in uh, Stockholm in, at the Karolinska, they coined the name natural killer because they naturally existed. You didn't have to do anything. Everybody had them. And uh, so the activity was identified mid-70s. I kind of came on the stage about 1980 and said, you know, we need markers to identify these and see if it's lots of cells doing this activity or whether it's a special cell doing this activity. So talk about that exploration and, and how you came to conclusions. Well, I think um, the first, one of the first ways people were um, a kind of separating NK cells from the rest of the cells in, in the blood was based just on the density, the size of the cell. So if you used a percol gradient, which will separate cells based on their buoyant density or size, it was noted that uh, if you spun the cells down, most of the cells went to the bottom. They were small, tiny lymphocytes. They would pellet in the bottom of the tube. At the interface uh, of the Percol gradient, there was uh, you know, a fraction of the cells, maybe 10% of the total cells, and that had the killing activity. So they were, uh, they were first called large granular lymphocytes, or LGLs. Okay? But you didn't know that whether that was a mixture of a bunch of different big cells which were killing or whether it was a unique cell. And uh, the good luck was the fellow who was my first postdoc, uh, a fellow named Joe Phillips, who had trained uh, for his PhD with a, a friend of mine in Texas, came to BD as my first postdoc, and he'd made uh, an antibody that we now call CD16, which is expressed as a marker on human NK cells. So I remember it's one of these you know, eureka moments when we uh, took Joe's antibody, labeled it with a fluorochrome, used Lynn, Lynn Hersenberg's cell sorting technology, and we sorted the cells that had the CD16 marker and the ones that didn't. CD16 marks only about 10% of your blood, but all the killing activity was in that fraction that had CD16. Those cells did not have markers of B and T cells. It was at that moment I said, these cells are a unique population distinct from B and T cells. It took about another decade to convince the rest of the world, <laughs> but when we did that experiment, that's what convinced me that uh, this was a unique population of cells with, whose purpose was this killing activity.